Hey guys, Steve here with your strategy session for July 24th, 2014. Interesting day today, really not much going on, um, you know, up and down pretty much the whole day. But we did have uh, some earnings reports that came out before and after the bell that we're going to review. Also go through uh, the actual indices themselves. Uh, just take a quick look, try and add some broader market uh, analysis into these strategy sessions. And then also uh, we'll go through our stops and then, um, I'm sorry, our stocks and uh, a couple that I just want to take a quick look at. So let's get started. So first of all, like I said, the uh, the broader market, S&P 500 futures really consolidating. Uh, we did have a breakout today. The action was really minimal, came back and, um, you know, we didn't really get too much follow through as far as the breakout. So for right now, you know, under 1949 is really where I'm looking as though uh, maybe we can have a change in, in trend or, you know, briefly because then we also have some longer term support, uh, you know, on the weekly chart as well. But, you know, the NQs uh, with Amazon earnings after the bell, they are actually, uh, I think they sold off a little bit more. They did. So, you know, same idea. We had this trend line, um, another consolidation area breakout. And then today we had a an open, a move higher and a close lower, um, which kind of indicates maybe some exhaustion uh, from the bulls getting over to the two trades that we had we might as well get the pull the band-aid off as quick as possible so Amazon uh, down you can see up in here uh, up in this quick quote area down to 324 uh, it was actually down lower before it was down to like 319 so 324 puts us back in our range um, you know basically it doesn't break the trend line and it, it just puts us back into this area here um, so we'll see how this acts tomorrow but uh, you know potentially a close below this 322.83 level would uh, would signal our exit to that trade um, you know so this is kind of one of the reasons that we don't tra don't take trades uh, two weeks before earnings so you had a, a nice look at Facebook that we uh, you know we had looked at and we missed that you know was up five percent today or six percent today but you know, on the other hand, you have these this Amazon trade that we did put on that was down. Uh, you know, now it's going to be down almost forty dollars or thirty dollars, um, ten percent after hours. So, like I said, you know, it's uh, kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't type of thing. But you know, I don't like to put the extra risk on two weeks before earnings when uh, when you know we don't know what exactly is going to happen. So, like I said come back down into this th into this area maybe we need some more consolidation you know maybe we're building a you know head and shoulders pattern who knows but um, until we break 322.83 we're gonna just stay long the other one that we had today that was the reported earnings was Wyndham so Wyndham you know same idea it really it opened right above resistance it moved all the way up to 79 and it closed back down at 78 so again, not an ideal situation. We really like to have this close a little bit higher in the range, you know, right around the 7850 area, of course. But you know, there's a lot of things that I'd like that don't happen. So with that said, though, we still do have another breakout, and we can move stop now to 7513, 7520 area. So we are we were able to take some risk off the table here um, and move that stop up. Our other trades, ADM, I'll let you go over in the free trade idea. Really not much to, to talk about with that one. American Tower, you know, still grinding higher uh, right along this trend line, pulling back. Last two days we've had lower closes than the opens, uh, and earnings are next week. Amazon we did. Okay, the one that we entered this morning was Air Products. So we had a nice big move higher on earnings as you can see this barely came back into that bar which is a good sign on a weekday you know so on, on a day where there was a lot of things kinda you know wishy-washy this one kinda held that upper half of the of this range which is always a good sign um, you know not saying that this continues higher because I do think at this point it does need a little bit of a rest but our stop here at 126.92 
would be our trigger to exit. As you can see, a more accelerated accelerated trend line we were able to draw in. And like I said on the weekly chart, really good looking, uh, good looking chart there. So for right now, let's see what happens in the next few days. Maybe you know, maybe this kind of does this low volume pullback to trend line and then moves higher. EQR was one that was up nicely today. Um, that one was reporting earnings on again the 30th, so it looks like I think AM, AMT and EQR are the 30th. Um, but you know, this is one of the reasons that we like to take those those uh, breakouts, no matter how minimal that we see them, because you know I would have never thought that this stock in, in would be up. I, I'm not even gonna count them, but for argument's sake, 14 out of the last 16 days, um, the stock has moved higher. So. You know, that's something that we can't predict. That we just follow the price action. Obviously, it's being accumulated. Who knows? Maybe they're going to have a good quarter. Maybe not. Um, but we're getting paid a three percent yield, and we're making money on the uh, on the gains from the stock. Fidelity, same thing. Not really much. Actually, closed unchanged today. So, forming this maybe another high consolidation. Maybe it wants to come back. Let's see what happens, but again, that one also has earnings on the 29th. So for right now, our stop is still down here at 54.71, but you know we get a breakout, you know maybe a move sideways, maybe we can bring stop up here to this 56.15. Honeywell, I mean, since we entered, we entered here on the, uh, this was the breakout day, we entered right here at 96.70, so. From that day, from the day after, we've had three fairly big sell-offs. We come right back into this support range and trend line support. So, like I said, we'll see what happens with that. The uh, the trend line is there. So, a couple things have to go wrong before we're stopped out. But the first thing would be obviously to come back to this trend line and bounce would be a great sign. And the last one is Mondelez. You know, since our entry not much going on moving sideways uh, and that's really about it a couple I want to go over real quick first one I want to go over is TWX you know I keep some stuff on my screen for a little bit after we exit but I just want to show you kinda you know we're not gonna pick the top and I don't know if this is the top but you know we took our profits just because of the whole nature of being being bought and and you know it's not a typical trend following um, you know there's news out there there's some some headline risk so I want to just take profits, book a nice profit we had and uh, and maybe you know keep it on the, on the screen and revisit it. But I want to show you how you know on this one we had those couple moves days of moves higher. We had what we called the doji, which I think we identified here and then a reversal. So you know we may get some pr higher prices or this could come all the way back, fill the gap. you know we have no idea, but right now, um, if you're still along this, I would have your stop right in here around this 82 uh, level. These were ones that I triggered today, um, actually triggered yesterday, and I always want to follow up with them. So CVX, of course, great looking move, but we have earnings coming up. So that was not something that we could trade, but if you look here on the weekly chart, you have this nice weekly consolidation, this nice base for about a, a year. Uh, we finally got to move above that, and this is this small consolidation on the daily, and now we're getting a move above that. So it's a great entry. It's a great way to uh, to really define risk. And like I said, on the weekly, you also have the same trend line here and blue sky territory. So blue sky territory, no resistance ahead um, that we could see. It's all based on uh, you know how how high people want to take it. Lockheed Martin. This is one that actually reported last week um, we're getting a move above so this one I'm actually not going to take a position in because the if you look at the model portfolio depending on obviously what happens tomorrow with Amazon we do have in the industrials we have Honeywell but we're also using 150 percent of our um, buying power so we are using margin I try not to go over 50 percent margin so with that said, we're going to actually, uh, for right now, 
stay away from Lockheed Martin. Although it looks like a great trade, but the other option, the other thing is that your stop would have to be down here around this 156 level, $13. So I don't feel like you really get that, you know, position size would be fairly small for the risk that you're taking on. Uh, so we'll pass on that one. MCK, again, great looking trade. Obviously an easily identifiable stop level right in here at this 185, or even if you want to give it a little bit more, the 181, uh, but that's kind of gets into the realm of uh, maybe it's too a little too wide, but you know you could also like I said go to this 181, which is also weekly support. But we have earnings coming up on the 31st. MMC, this one again, great looking trade. We had this trend line, as you can see, we consolidated and we're coming in ricocheting off of uh, the trend line support here. So we move over the 5224 area was really what triggered. Uh, this to pop up but unfortunately again earnings on the 29th so as you can see I mean the, the the best thing that we can take away from these even though they're they're non trades and uh, you know even though they're non trades and we can't we can just still follow them and really just watch how they how they perform how they act but we are getting the setups that we like. So that's the best thing that, you know, you know, we can still see the setup. Setup is there. We ha we know how to identify it. So this is good practice for us uh, in looking at how to identify this top in the stock, the trend, the breakout, the price we want to get in, the price we want to exit. Um, having earnings obviously is a little bit of a of a monkey wrench, but you know, that's something that that's you have to learn how to deal with and, and take the trades only when all your rules line up uh, perfectly. So, you know, the same thing, Northrop Grumman, again, another great looking trade. Earnings were the 22nd, but the problem here again is it's another industrial. So I don't want to really add too much to the, to the portfolio. And the only spot that I see that you could have your stop would be down at this 117 area. So again, you're, you know, you're just about ten dollars on a hundred and twenty dollar stock, so you're about eight percent, say. So position size may be fairly small. And the last one, Exxon Mobil, again breaking out. Um, stop would probably go under this one hundred dollar level, but earnings coming up on the thirty first. So, like I said, guys, you know, the best thing that we can do here is. You know, hopefully our Amazon trade comes back. You know, right now it's down, still 324. Um, you know, hopefully that turns around. But the fact is, you know, we got in the trade, we identified our max risk that we want to take, and you know, we're we're taking on that risk. You know, this isn't a situation where you know we're panicking. You know, it's part of the game. We're gonna have days like that. So. You know, if we happen to get our trigger exit tomorrow in Amazon, we'll gladly take it, step aside, and look for something else because obviously there's a bunch of setups out there that, you know, we don't have to, we could be picky about the setups we want to take, but, you know, we don't have to be in a stock like Amazon where, you know, looking back, obviously hindsight 2020, you know, with all this resistance, maybe it wasn't the right trade to take, but we still took it because we were able to identify our risk. And, and keep our risk small so that one trade is not going to blow you up uh, to the point where you're going to be, you know, your, your account's going to be 50% what it was. So, like I said, guys, uh, please leave some comments below, you know, if you, if you enjoyed any part of this um, video or if you have some questions or comments that you, you need further clarification, I'll, I'll definitely answer them. And, uh, you know, let's see how Amazon plays out tomorrow and um, hopefully we'll get some, some, uh, you know, favorable bounces, I guess, off support. And, you know, they could easily open at the lows and, and rally higher the rest of the day. And, you know, who knows? But I know uh, for right now, it doesn't look good for Amazon. But with that said, the rest of our positions look great. Uh, we locked in some good gains with uh, moving some stops up. And, um, you know, we'll just take it one day at a time. So we're not going to freak out about anything. So, like I said, guys, leave some comments below. Definitely uh, check out the free trade video, and we'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, 
Subscribe below and hit the like button. Follow Daddy on Twitter and Star Twitch. See you next time at the Twitter follower. Thanks for watching.